What up, it's your boy Mark. Um, this is only my second YouTube video, so again, please be kind. But um, I'm gonna do another Vlad and Lord Jamar reaction to their interview. And the first one was more about my dislike for Jamar. And I've hated him for like the last year, but I'm starting to see now that Vlad is the one pulling the strings. And he's using Jamar as a puppet. I mean, I can't believe Jamar is not, he, he should be smarter than this. <laughs> but, um, so let's, let's get to this interview. Um, all right, let's get to it. Well, what did you think about the the songs that Nick Cannon dropped about Eminem? I didn't think they were that good. You know, even when he shouted me out and all of that, it's like, I, I, I... Sorry for the pauses, we all know that's for, for copyright issues. But I will give Jamar props for that. Um, Cause you know Jamar hates Eminem, but at least admitting that Nick Cannon's songs weren't good, even though Nick Cannon shouted them out, he still told the truth and said those so songs were horrible. And that's really, that's not even just my opinion. He posted that on his own page and I forget what it was, but he got so many more dislikes than likes on his own page. But um, let's keep going. I, I mean, I liked that he said something to him, but they weren't strong. They weren't strong songs. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I liked having all those battle rappers on there. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he might could have just did it himself or did it kind of how Eminem did it where they just rhyme regular, not even addressing it, and then he goes and gets on Eminem. But I don't know. I feel like he, he changed up his... He tried to rhyme in what he felt was like a serious tone or some shit like that. I don't know. Like, Nick Cannon is a, just a fun, funny guy. Like, like, don't try to get serious. Like, like, <laughs> that's what I feel like. I don't know. But I didn't think they was dope. I didn't think they was dope. But I like the spirit of them. You know what I mean? Had to pause again because of the copyrights. But um, I don't even have too much to say there that I haven't already said. And we'll get to that Nick Cannon stuff later. All right, back to the video. I like the spirit of them. Lord Jamar said you was a guest in the house. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, Nick, but it's still, you know, I wasn't loving the song, but I appreciate him shout me out. But, you know, I got to keep it a thousand. Like, they wasn't. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know the backstory, Lord Jamar says Eminem is a guest in the house of hip hop because he's white. For no other reason. That's racist. I mean, I don't know why more people aren't commenting on or saying this but i mean rap's a, a sport you know if it doesn't matter what color are you are if you if you're good at it that's when i when i listen to music it's not a i don't care white black latino i even got a few chinese rappers i only heard a few but i, I like them it, it don't, right, color doesn't matter. It wasn't hot, but neither is none of this shit that Eminem is saying. So I'm like, damn, ain't nobody dropping nothing hot now. Do I have to drop something? <laughs> well, this is what I've always been saying, right? What I've always hey, said life. was that brand Nubian I know what needs to drop a response song to Eminem. All three of y'all have dragged my... Okay, this is where I turn my hate a little away from Jamar into Vlad. Vlad, I realize Vlad, he's, he's not trying to 
um, use his platform to end this beef. He's trying to pour, to ignite it, to keep it going, to make it worse. And now he he's trying to get um, Lord Jamar to get his group to get in a song and diss Eminem. And Eminem has not said one bad word about anyone from his group. He didn't say anything bad about Lord Jamar till after interview after interview of Lord Jamar talking shit about Eminem, saying he's a guest in hip hop. He is not one of the greatest and people in the hood don't listen to him. Um, that no black people listen to him. And that the ones that do are corny. Um, <sighs> just gets me mad. My brother's into it. If they want to get involved into it, that's, you know, that's on them. But I'm not going to, you know, drag them into anything. You know what I mean? But, I, you know, listen, with all the trash that's going on here right now, I'm really listening like, wow. Like, y'all are kind of almost making it easy for a motherfucker right now. But, uh, okay. I'm going to just keep listening for a second. But this is all like, see... If I drop something, guarantee you it's going to be something that black people could feel. That's that's all I could guarantee. Like, I'm going to go in that chamber that he could never go. Like, even though he had an almost slaughterhouse on there, what he tried to do is, right, he put them on there because he felt like that was his only chance of getting black people to really listen to a diss against me. He thought if he gets a group like Slaughterhouse... <laughs> Even if Eminem didn't diss you, it wouldn't have made any difference. That album would still be selling, it would still be number one in multiple countries like it is right now. It is, he only said like three lines about you. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I, I'll just keep going. It's on there that It'll, you know what I mean? But the song wasn't, you know, the beat and all of that wasn't soulful enough. And, and it just, it's not soulful something enough. we don't listen to, even though the rappers on there are people that we would listen to. You know what I mean? Especially uh, Joel Ortiz. Like, I, that motherfucker is so nasty. I agree with that. Um, Ortiz is amazing. But yeah, it still didn't work. Like, it still didn't work. And so I make some shit that'll be mad soulful. And niggas will be like, oh, that's some soulful shit. But then the white people's not going to care about it. I can make the dopest shit in the world and all the stand. Um, why, why don't you make a song then? Why, you keep talking about it, but you don't do it. And you're saying that you'll make some soulful shit that black people will like. And why do you assume the white people won't like it? If you put out a good song, it's a good song. Uh, people like it if it's good. And we'll be like, you know, that was whack. Eminem destroyed you. You might as well lay down. <laughs> Die and all this stupid shit. You know. <laughs> Whatever. Well, look, my suggestion, call up DJ Premier. Glad trying to start the, the Unite the Fire. Baddest primo beat he's ever made. Because he's good at this type of thing. Right. But I feel like a lot of people, <laughs> you know, something about Eminem, and, and I think they feel like he got a certain power, they wouldn't want to be attached to something like this. They don't want to put their name on something like this because they feel like it's going to, you know, fuck them up. Cause that's true. In the long run, or something like that. You see what I'm saying? All right. I'm telling you. What fuck is this? Let me, let me say this. Trust me, say this. Listen, Keep I got trying, people that hit me up behind the scenes all the time. Yo, I love what you be saying. Keep saying that shit. But when it comes to fucking publicly being like, yo, Lord Jamal's right. Like, what the fuck's the problem? You don't hear none of these motherfuckers saying that. Where are they? Where are the people coming to my defense? And be like, yo, what's he saying that's wrong? Where's the motherfuckers from my era that know that what I'm saying is right? Where are they right now? They hiding. Because they think that there's a bag out there for them that Eminem might could stop 
if they fucking say some shit. That's what they worry about. Well, let me tell you something. DJ Premier produced the Jazzo diss song against Jay Z. Oh wow! Okay, after after doing. A Had to pause because it's been a while since I paused. Vlad is trying so hard to get him to make a response to get his group into it to keep this beef going which i hate even calling a beef they've never met that uh, if it was if i was eminem it would drive me crazy people that i've never met not liking me i mean i got people i don't get along with but there are reasons for that you know but for someone I never met to talk so much shit about me, that would just get me so mad. He reminds me of Benzino 10 years ago. And wait, why why didn't he come out talking then? Jeez, he, his music's from mid 80s, I believe. All right, let's keep going with the video. A bunch of Jay-Z classics. Right, I remember okay. he had a song and I remember because they were giving out flyers for this. And it was Jazzo, and it said Hova, and the H was crossed out. <laughs> Ova. Mm. Produced, by, produced by DJ Premier. Look wow. it up. You can still find it. Okay. And this is after, way after Reasonable Doubt and, you know, a bunch of classics that he had with Jay-Z. Certain producers, I mean, like, look, um, Easy Mo B did most of Biggie shit, but then he went and did Tupac shit. I think he did Tupac shit first. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Temptations, that, Temptations came all that out. Shit was out was out first. I remember. I remember. People do stuff for money. Fucking um, ain't nothing like the old school and all that type of shit. That was out before Biggie shit. Temptations came out in 1995. And when did Biggie shit come out? <laughs> Biggie's first album. Ready to Die came out in 1994. Hmm. Okay. I even, I even talked to, uh, I remember I interviewed Easy Moby and we talked about him working with both people. And I remember, I forgot what he said because this was some years ago, but he was like, basically, hey man, I'm, I'm a producer. I'm not getting caught in the middle of what y'all are doing. Okay. So I'm paying you to do some beats. Hit me up. Hit me up, Ring. Throw me some shit, baby boy. There we go. Look, we're saying it. So DJ Premier, if he produces it, you think you can get the rest of Brand Newbie to jump on it? <laughs> Why are you trying so hard to start it to speak? Make it work. I mean, like, you got some picky dudes in Brand New Year, too. I, I, again, you know. No matter how good the beat is, it, it's just not going to be enough. Eminem, he's got a fan base that's crazy. When MGK dissed him, when Nick Cannon dissed him, they were, they called them stands. They called themselves stands, coming out the woodwork, making diss songs against MGK. I don't know another rapper, Jay Z, Nas, Method Man. I don't know any other rapper that, if someone made a song dissing them, that their fans would make a song coming back in that rapper's defense. Only Eminem has got that type of support. And I think it's because he's been truthful with us since day one. You know, a lot of people would never say their girl's name, never say their daughter's name. Eminem has kept it a hundred since day one. All right, let's finish this video. A little bit left. Let's <laughs> see. All right. Well, recently and for the record motherfuckers in brand new being feel the same way i feel so i would look to let the record reflect so what motherfuckers feel about that like 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 to um keep it a thousand and this ain't throwing nobody under the bus but my nigga Pooba, he's the one that that brought it to my attention that motherfuckers don't never play fucking uh eminem shit in the club he brought that to my attention so Eminem music is not club music. 
It's just not. I don't really like club music. I hated getting dragged to the clubs. But I did it because my girlfriend liked it. But, um... The... Oomph, oomph, oomph. Shit. Yeah, Eminem... That's, Eminem's not club music. Um, that's not an insult. That's just a fact. Okay. I know you wear Puba t-shirts, but he feel the same fucking way that I do about your bitch ass. Now what, you fucking goofy? All right, go ahead. Well, I mean, the fact that he is trying to do this whole divide and conquer thing, saying that you're the weakest link and everything on, else like that, a... I think that would be the, the perfect response is to do a brand that's Nubian a response record. He's not trying to do a divide and conquer. The rest of Grand Nubian hasn't spoken one bad word about Eminem. Only you have, Jamar. So, them to come out and diss Eminem, I guess, okay, you protect your boy if he got, like, jump and hurt. Not because he got his feelings hurt. And that's what it is. Jamar's feelings got hurt. That, but he caused it. He He's the one that started talking shit first. So he brought this on himself. Fucking tactic all day, divide and conquer. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let, let, let's, let's see. You what know happens. what you want to happen, I, I would Vlad? Definitely bump the shit out of that. <laughs> of course you would. I'll even premiere it. Okay. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank God, Vlad, dude. Just, just stop. Um, so that, that's it for today. I'll be back for another soon. All right. Have a good day. See you later.